Hello there people, are you trying to get some ammo crate kills for season 4? Well I'm the Gaming Scientist and in this video I'm going to show you the best things to do for this challenge. If you get value out of this video please like and subscribe down below, it helps me out and I hope to help you out later more challenge videos I upload. But you came here to see how to use one of the most useless field upgrades against them, so let's get into it. First thing is your perks. I would think that the best ones for this is Ghost forward intel and ninja ghost is so that it's easier for you to move around on the map without being seen by uavs forward intel is so that you can see more red dots that are staying still on the mini map being campers instead of relying on campfire in the distance and ninja is because you're probably going to have to get close enough to smell them uh. They're taking able. oh come on i did the sniff and everything and if there's somebody with a good headset that hears you coming, then you're probably going to have a hard time getting this challenge done. I would also suggest attaching a smoke grenade while you're in your loadout, because you might need to throw it every once in a while just to get close to the team to shoot the crate. Bring your inner ninja turtle out, you know? Your gun though really doesn't matter that much, so just play with what you're comfortable with. For kill streaks, go for UAVs. You want as much information as you can get about where the other team is. This way you can see someone is camping and know where to go for free ammo kill. So put on intel, spy plane, and local informants. Like I said in multiple other videos, if local informants is too high of a kill streak for you to get consistently, go for an airdrop. UAVs are more common in care packages than a lot of other heavier hitter kill streaks like dog. Trust me, if they were completely random, I would not care what challenge I'm going for. Four kills for even chance to get any kill streak is something I would always attach. But anyways, I suggest adding ammo crate as your field upgrade. Why yes, I think it's intended for you to shoot somebody else's box to blow them up like Team Rocket. Looks like we're blasting off again! The exact wording of the challenge says kill one enemy by blowing up an ammo crate. That does not say that it has to be their crate. So the easiest thing to do is set yours up next to them to shoot. Still blows up even if it's yours. That's actually the way I ended up getting my challenge done. So let's get into the game now. I would suggest you go into hardcore domination. Hardcore means that they're going to have less help so they can be further away from it and still end up dying and giving you some nice rage mics. <laughs> Domination is for several reasons. It usually has a couple people who are camping flags that you could sneak up on and get a free kill. But if all I was worried about was how many campers there are, I would say Team Deathmatch. The difference between the two is that in Domination, campers will normally focus on one part of the map so they can be around the flags, leaving you places that you can sneak through that they aren't paying attention to. In Team Deathmatch though, they will have their entire spawn on lock not letting anybody through and making it almost impossible for you to get behind them. So for how to play the game, be going around the edges of the map as much as you can. That's where you're going to have better luck at trying to find campers. But I would suggest you try to get behind them any way that you can and sometimes that means running down the middle. But you really want to get behind them because it will let you have more time to line up your shot if they're looking the other way. Another thing that you might want to do is camp a crate. It may be boring, but if you have been trying to get this challenge done for a while, you could find a place that you think people are about to run through, set your box down and wait. I know it's hard for gamers to wait, but just try some patience. And boom, free challenge. If you're going to do it this way, I have two suggestions. First, switch your game mode from domination to either patrol or hardpoint. The objectives move in these modes, and that makes it really easy to predict the way that the other team is going to move and where they're coming from. The second suggestion is to find a cramp area that they're going to have to come through. This makes it where they're going to have to get closer to it just to get through the area. And even if they know that it's in there because they have engineer on and they have x-ray vision like Superman, they're probably going to have to get close to it if they want to get rid of it and end up killing themselves in the process. If you put it on the other side of the wall in a doorway or something, you might get too excited and shoot it too soon. I know a thing or two about getting too excited too quick. But anyways, you might want to wait to see them actually walk past it a little bit to shoot. If you have to do this though, you risk them seeing you before you can take your shot. Something you can do to prevent that if you can't hide or be far enough away from it with it still in sight. You can get a gun that's good with penetration kills and actually wait outside the cramped area you just put it down in. Just aim under the symbol and shoot when you see them. Sometimes that means letting them walk past you so you can get the kill with that instead of with your bullets. Also, if you play one of these game modes enough to know the rotation, 
rotate early and place it down in the new zone. This will work really well if your team is not doing good with capturing the point because that means they cannot hold them off good from getting into the zone. Now I'd suggest you go to this video next where I talk about finishing moves. You can use these important tips to get around the other team for this challenge. Also, again, if you got value out of this video, please like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a good day. I hope to see you again.